finished. All right, I've been millionaire real estate agent today. And I want to talk to you about, I have four key points for you, and then I'm going to close. Carissa, please, you're making me nervous. Let's do this afterwards. It can stay, I promise. Everything is all right. I have four key points for you, and then I'm going to close with 16 action items for you. <laughs> We're not having an earthquake, by the way. That's Clarissa cleaning up the coffee that I spilled. 14 key action items for you to build a successful real estate business. In other words, if you, if you were to come to me and say, John, what do I do? How do I build a successful real estate business? This is what I would tell you. All right. I would start with people have lived before you. This is right from MREA. People have lived before you and you might be wise to slow down and figure out what they learned on their journey before you start your own. And I know it's super important for you if I tell you what pages we're on. I'm page 35, by the way, 35 and 36, just so you know. Success leaves clues, and people who produce outstanding results do specific things to create those results. We're going to get... Um, we're gonna go deep here in just a few moments on what those specific things are. And it's important for you to slow down and listen. Because if I were to give you a recipe for building a successful real estate business, you would wanna follow the recipe 100%. Remember, you can bake a cake with 95% of the ingredients. You're gonna have a cake and it's gonna taste like crap. It takes 100% of the ingredients for it to be delicious. And your real estate business is very similar. I'm gonna give you those items here in just a moment. Point number two, actions are the source of all results. Well, when I hear that, my first question is, okay, if actions are the, are, are the source of all results, my first question is, what are those actions? You're gonna find out in just a second. The process of discovering exactly and specifically what people do to produce a specific result is called modeling. Modeling is a pathway to excellence. The movers and shakers of the world are professional modelers. People who have mastered the art of learning everything they can by following other people's experience rather than their own. Who are you following? I'm getting feedback. So if you're following me on Zoom, please turn me off. <laughs> okay, point number four. To model excellence, you should be a detective, an investigator, someone who asks lots of questions and tracks down all the clues to what produces excellence. All right, so let's go back. Actions are the source of all results. So exactly and specifically what actions produce the results I am looking for. You guys ready? Okay. Number one, build a database. Actually build a big database database. The size of your real estate business is in direct proportion to the size of your database. The size of your database is in direct proportion to the size of your real estate business. So if you're going to build a database, build a big one. Now, when you follow directions, what number do you start with? You get, you get that thing that comes in a box and you're starting to put together whatever it is you're putting together. And if you're one of the, if you're, if you're a person who actually follows the directions, <laughs> you're gonna start with which number? One. One. You're not gonna skip to two or three. You're gonna start with number one. So before you do anything else, I want you to build a database. I want you to build a big database. 
And I want you to understand that the size of your real estate business is in direct proportion to the size of your database. Now, when you build a database, you are already miles ahead of your competition because believe it or not, most real estate agents don't work from a database. I meet with and interview an average of 50 real estate agents a month. That's 600 a year. I've been doing that for seven years. Do the math. It's a lot. And one of the questions that I ask them is, Pierre, tell me what database you're using. What database are you using, Juanita? Arinthia, what, what, what database are you using? Now, what do you think I normally hear? I normally have them show me their phone. This is my database. Or I've got everybody on an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so hear me really clear. That's not a database. Your phone is not a database. An Excel spreadsheet is not a database. You're gonna be miles ahead of your competition if you just complete number one, build a database. Build a big database. Number two, feed it every day. Feed it every day simply means, good morning, Scott Tolar. Feed it every day simply means that you're adding people to your database. You've got this giant group of people who live outside your database called Habit Mets. You meet them. Hi, my name is John Dietz. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty, and I like to keep my friends and family members updated on the market. That simply means I send them interesting information on the market once a month. And I call every three or four months just to check in. Would it be okay if I add you to that group? Script, write it down. And I'm gonna have that conversation with everybody every day until I've added at least one new person to my database that day because it's a standard. Feed your database. So number two is feed your database. The third action item that you're going to take in order to build a successful real estate business is communicate with your database in a systematic way. Do you see this giant mess up here, ladies? This is, this is how you know I'm here. <laughs> That's John. <laughs> communicate with your database in a systematic way. Well, what the heck does that mean? Well, in our ecosystem, it means 36 touch smart plans. You know, we've got this awesome platform, platform called Command and inside Command, you have these smart plans, this library of smart plans that has already been put together for you, Pierre. All you have to do is go in, click on the contact, that's your lead, click on smart plans and launch whatever smart plan you want to launch on any particular person in your database. And you can do several smart plans, not just one, you can have several. And that's going to give you an opportunity to communicate in a systematic way. I told people for years when I was selling real estate and I was listing 12 to 15 homes every month, selling over a hundred homes a year. When they would ask me how to, how to, how did I do that? I would simply tell them I work for my database. I come into the office in the morning and I turn my database on. I open it up and I literally look at my database and ask, what should I do today? And my database says, here's a list of what you're doing today. And I would say, okay, I'm going to do those things. It's just that simple. Now, can I do that? I'm going back to number one. Can I do that if I haven't built a database? Say no. no. I can't. Hmm. All right. The fourth thing that successful real estate agents do is they time block their calendar. They leverage the 80-20 world to maximize results. They time block lead generation. They time block time to meet with buyers and sellers. They time block time to go get seller listings. They time block to write offers and negotiate contracts. And they time block role play and practicing their scripts. Number four, the fifth thing that successful real estate agents understand is your one thing is lead generation. And until lead generation is done, everything else is a distraction. Everything, everyone else is a distraction. So it doesn't matter how many 
buyers you're currently working with and you got to do searches and you got to take them out and show them properties and you've got offers that you're negotiating and on and on and on and on. Those things happen after lead generation. They happen after lead generation, always and forever. Successful people get this. Your one thing is lead generation and nothing else matters until it's done. Everything else is a distraction. The sixth thing that successful real estate agents do is they follow a prospecting-based, marketing and enhanced lead generation model. They follow a prospecting-based, marketing and enhanced lead generation model. Specifically, what that means is 20 conversations a day, not 19, not 18, not 17, because if I have 17 conversations and I stop, I didn't have the 18th conversation, which could have been a million dollar listing that I didn't get because I didn't have the conversation. It's 20 conversations. I've been speaking with expireds, cancel listings, for sell by owners, circle prospecting, door knocking my farm. They're following a lead generation model of contact, connect, schedule an appointment, nurture, schedule an appointment. Contact, connect, schedule an appointment. If I don't get the appointment, they go to nurture, which means I'm following up with them forever until I schedule an appointment. The seventh thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they write five handwritten personal notes. Now, who do you write a note to? Anybody you spoke to? Anybody you met with? What do you say? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's another class. <laughs> Thank you for taking Figure it out. Thank you for taking time out of your day, Michael, to meet with me. I enjoyed our conversation. I am looking forward to the opportunity to work with you. Make it a great day, John. If your name's not John, please don't sign John. That's weird. Okay, the eighth thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they meet with buyers and sellers. The ninth thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they take seller listings. The tenth thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they master their listing presentation and buyer consultation. Why should I work with you? Well, I don't know, because I'm nice? Because I work hard? Uh, no, that ain't gonna get it. They master their listing presentation and their buyer consultation. The 11th thing that successful real estate agents do is they take, they take blank listings every month. What's your standard? Okay, so what's my point? How many listings are you gonna take every month? Do you know what that number is? Do you have a standard for how many seller listings you're gonna take every month? And can you hit a target that you can't see? Can you hit a target you don't have? If you haven't set that goal, then you're never going to hit that goal. How many listings are you gonna take every month? Successful agents understand this. They have a standard and they hit their standard. The 12th thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they follow up forever to create emotional proximity. Remember, people will never change their mind, but they will make a new decision based on new information. And if you're not following up forever, you're not giving them a chance to make a new decision based on new information. So following up forever means that I'm rejecting rejection, that I'm ignoring no. No is not a word that lives in my vocabulary. No simply means not yet. John, I'm never gonna hire you. Awesome, talk to you next month. John, if I ever do list my home, I'm gonna hire Bob. Cool, talk to you next month. John, I don't ever want you to call me again. Cool, talk to you next month. True story. All right, the 13th thing that successful real estate agents do every day is they are a student of the market in order to become the local economist of choice. Are you the local economist of choice? That means you know the market better than anybody else. Nobody, including your competition, knows the market better than you do. 
So when you're sitting at that kitchen table and you're having a listing conversation, you are the local expert. Why should they hire you? Because you're the local expert. Nobody knows the market better than you do. Master supply and demand formula, master the supply and demand formula in order to become a strategic pricing professional. So on top of being the local economist of choice, you are a strategic pricing professional because you understand supply and demand and you understand how supply and demand is going to impact the strategy in order to get your clients home sold. One size does not fit all. How's the market? It depends. Where do you live? What type of home do you have? What price range are we looking at? Number 15, they practice and role play scripts every day in order to master the conversations of real estate. And finally, number 16, they work with a coach, Terry Carter, in order to expose blind spots and remove obstacles. If I ever decided that I wanted to get good at the game of golf, which I'm never gonna make that decision. <laughs> I just don't have enough time and it's not important to me. But if I ever decided I would hire a coach and the way I would hire a coach, Nick, is I would say, come out with me and play golf with me and watch me so that you can see my blind spots and you can help me remove the obstacles that are standing between me and my goal. If you watch competitive sports, when the quarterback comes out of the game, the coach talks to the quarterback and the coach is telling them, this is what you're missing. You're not seeing that the wide receiver is open on the post because the quarterback is doubling down on the tight end. <laughs> coach, sorry. <laughs> And all you have to do is fake it to the tight end and you're going to draw that cornerback in and that wide receiver is open for a touchdown. Right, Nick? Now, the quarterback doesn't see that because the quarterback's looking at a million other things. It's a blind spot. Well, you have blind spots too. A coach will help you see those blind spots. And they will remove, help you remove those obstacles in order for you to move closer to your goal. All right. Guys, if there was one survive to thrive, still don't know what to call this. It's not a show. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> meeting. Conversation. All right. You, if, for those of you who didn't hear, uh, smart ass in the room said it's kind of a show because there's coffee on the floor and yeah, 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 uh, yeah, uh, uh, okie dokie. <laughs> All right. If there's one survive to thrive episode that I want you to watch over and over and over and over and over again, and I want you to share it with all of your real estate friends, it's this one. It's this one. You want to build a successful real estate business? I just gave you the formula. Now, all you have to do is bake the cake.